decided today that we kind of wanted to show you just a little bit of some of the things we found from last year and some from this year. And when I say a little bit, I mean like 20% of what we found. And the reason why I say 20% is because we give away almost everything that we can find. Either we give it away at the dock while we're there, uh, we bring it home and we give it to a friend, um, so on and so forth. Uh, my, my friend Jay, thank you so much Jay, but my friend Jay, um, he fixed up two of these, um, actually a couple of them, um, and we gave a couple to him. It's because we don't fish, so we just give our stuff away that um, people are going to use and have fun with. But one of the two, two of the things actually I wanna touch upon right now are these two. We found this at a dock. Um, he completely re-sharpened um, all of this. This this is actually really sharp. Um, he redid the scissors. Um, it's a Cabela knife. And um, I really enjoy the small ones because I don't really need the big ones. And so this is something that I will reuse. Um, so he did that. Thank you, Jay. And he also did this one. This is a Gerber. And he also redid the knivings in here there's like so, there's so many like I don't want to pull them out but as you can see that there's so many I'll do an accumulative picture um, in the corner here in a second and you guys can see it opened up and cleaned but he, as you can see it's just beautiful it's shiny when we pulled it out it was not pretty at all it's pretty gunky pretty gross and he did a really good job he also cleaned up a bunch of these it doesn't um, I don't know if we'll ever use these because again it's for fishing but this was really rusted he took it off and then it left this really interesting color on it so we just kind of left it this way um but i thought it was really cool just really kind of rustic looking um things like this i'm just gonna we're just gonna end up tossing we kept them we were thinking about restoring them but i just it, it's 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 a it's a cheap knife and it was fun catching but my favorite part is that it's no longer in the water um and as you can see we these things you know how many of these needle nose pliers do you think we've caught like 40. like no joke these are just the ones that no either we weren't around anybody or <laughs> they didn't want them or something but these are just the few that we have left and i'm sure that we'll be able to get rid of some of them I actually use, I think it's these. So sometimes when we pull um, things out of the water, the hooks get stuck to our paracord and we it, it cuts us or, or, or nicks us. And so we pull them out and this is actually, this, I've used this more than once, um, actually recently to pull out those hooks um, that we get stuck in there. So I've actually, I might keep these. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that we have caught. It doesn't look very fancy. We're also going to go outside here in a little bit and we're going to show you some of the um, fishing poles that we've gotten. Again, we've probably pulled out like 10 and we think I think we have like four or five of them because we've given them away. But we're just going to show you some of the ones we have and hopefully you like what we've seen what you've seen today. We're, we're anticipating having a lot more this year as well. And we might do some more metal detecting this year than we did last year because we find it really interesting and fun. Um, and this is what we have. Let us know what you guys like sh us showing the most. Do you like seeing some of the stuff we have? Do you like, you know, just seeing the pictures instead? Do you like them individually? Um, when I'm watching videos, I kind of like the accumulative and then like individual. So we might do that at the end of this video. So how cute is that? <laughs> I think that's like one of the ones I actually caught. You catch so many of these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that little baby Gerber one I gave to, we'll show a picture of that. It was about this size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, it was another Gerber, but I gave it to a friend. Um, she really wanted it. So again, it's just something that we like doing. I really enjoy giving our things that we find away, kind of like a secondhand kind of deal. And it's being put to use. Hopefully they're not losing it back in the water. But, um... If so, we'll probably just go find it again. I will probably reuse reuse this. This is really nice. Um, I'm really I'm interested. I'm surprised we got this back. I'm surprised Jay didn't want it. But Jay, if you want this, let me know. We will give it to you. <laughs> Show you guys some uh, videos or some clips here in a little bit. Some pictures. Show you what we got.
that's what the glasses are for. It's bright. It's a little bit windy, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, this is one of our catches that we found um, back in the day, like last year. Um, it says Dock Runner on it. Um, and the reel says... <sighs> sigh, sigh something. Sink Corporate? So sink? Okay, listen, you guys can read just as well as I can, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that says, but this is one of the real, this is one of the real and uh, fishing poles that we found. Okay, got this little babe. This is a pinching stick. I'm going to assume it's um, for little kids. But this one actually still works. And it's super cute. Yeah, it has a little bobber attached to it still, too. Yeah. Here's another one. Let's see. This one is uh, Demon Deluxe. That's the reel. And the pole is something. I have no idea. I don't even know if it's, oh wait, is it a Z? Zebco, ha! <laughs> a Zebco, I don't you know. Win. <laughs> I don't know what, um, what design that is. Or I know, it's one of the nicer ones that we found, the ones with the little cork on handles. The nicest one we ever found was the one that we gave to Stephanie. Yeah. This one is a Shakespeare, we actually catch a lot of Shakespeare sty style. And Cabela's. Um, yeah, and Cabela's. The rod says 002 combo spin cast rod, two feet, six inches. It's Again, tiny. probably for a kid. It's actually pretty good. Woo! That wind. This is the newest one we found. I think we found this one yesterday, the day before, maybe even like last week. It says micro spin, and it also says Shakespeare on there. And then it is that a Satan? Yep, Shakespeare pole, micro spin combo. So just another one. And we got one more. Well, actually we got two, but there's this little baby one. And here is, what does it say? Oh, that's Shakespeare, oops. I Shakespeare. It, yeah. And then the pole is Shakespeare as well. So again, like I said, we get a lot. Uh, give me one second. I'll get that little baby one that we got. It's a hot mess because it got connected to all the wire that we pull up. Look yeah. at that madness. Yeah. Look at it. But it's out of the water now. Yeah. Oh, God. It got connected to this. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. So it's just a little kid one. Got that uh, carcass right there. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't touching that. Again. Gross. Oh look, we oh, I forgot we, we caught this. Oh yeah. Somebody was crocheting, I think. All right. I didn't even know crochets were metal. I thought they were like plastic or something. Anyway. No, they're, yeah, they're metal. So I got some lures on here. But yeah, we caught all this madness. It says kid right there. Kid caster. This cute little PJ masks. There you go. Um, it's probably reusable, but I don't know any kids. Oh my god, that little car kit. I, I gotta you gotta put it, put it down. Just put it down. I got to. I gotta put it down. <laughs> like I said, this is just a little of probably, it's not even half of the fishing poles that we've ever had or got. We also put them near like um, the trash cans um, because when people go by and dump their stuff, they're like, oh my gosh, a fishing pole. And they'll take it that way because I don't like taking them home all the time and they're they're useless to us so we would rather have people we don't are unhappy about fishing but that's your there's your choice you get to fish and if you get to have things new new things to be fishing with maybe it'll inspire somebody to go magnet fishing and pick up some trash in, in the same process so these are just a little bit of our things this week last week and last year i hope you enjoyed we'll probably show some pictures uh, that we don't have so some of the things that have been given away we'll just show you some of those and i hope you guys enjoyed and stick around because we're going to start doing some magnet fishing and metal detecting more and more this year so much fun we super appreciate your guys' support please like and subscribe um i our subscriptions have gone up and and within the last week and i we're just so excited and happy and that means a lot to us so thank you so so much um magneto loves you have a good one